Welcome to the educational articles from CosmicNova.com. My name is Erwin, also known as Kobume, and today's topic is in the field of technology and science. A link to this article is provided in the description box below. Analog versus digital music and sound. Although 1950s are primarily remembered for rock and roll, what many don't realize is this decade brought upon many advances in digital audio recording. The dawn of this technology left scientists, audiophiles, and music fans alike asking the same questions. What's the difference between analog and digital recording, and is one better than the other? To understand this quandary, it's important to understand the differences between analog recording and its far younger counterpart, digital recording. Thomas Edison's phonograph was the first machine capable of capturing and reproducing analog sound. The invention which began as an effort to play back recorded telegraph messages was introduced in 1877. And there is also a picture of Thomas Anderson with a cylinder phonograph, of a phonograph here, as you can see. For telegraph messages or songs to be recorded by a phonograph, the sound must go through a few steps. First, sound waves enter through a predecessor of the microphone, also known as the microphone diaphragm, and vibrate. Next, a small needle connected to the diaphragm vibrates and syncs with the vibrations from the microphone diaphragm. This causes the needle's tip to scratch grooves into a tinfoil cylinder. To play back a recording, the process is essentially reversed. As the tinfoil cylinder rotates, a needle follows the grooves created by the previous recordings. The needle then vibrates, causing sound to flow from the microphone diaphragm. The phonograph paved the way for the gramophone and the later record players. Although this method of recording may sound barbaric, on a fundamental level, today's digital audio isn't produced in much a different manner. In digital recording, audio signals are picked up by a microphone and converted into nearly endless streams of numbers. These data points represent the change over time in air pressure. To retrieve these numbers and play back the songs or recordings, the data is converted back into analog waveforms as it broadcasted through a speaker. Nearly 100 years after Edison's phonograph, Max Matthews of Bell Laboratories developed a process to digitally record sound via computer in 1957. Regardless of any difference in the recording process, audiophiles continually argue over the quality of analog versus digital in terms of signal-to-noise ratio or noise generated by the record recording of signal and speakers. Digital recordings can have a greater ratio. This depends on the bit depth of the recording or the, easy, or the ease by which sound is retrieved. Because digital audio comes from because I, you know, have to go back. Because digital audio comes from data as opposed to etched grooves, it is more difficult for data to be extracted from digital recordings. Analog sound is retrieved in a more smooth manner. Analog is not without its downfall. Through, oh, analog is not without its downfall. Though, as anyone who has ever listened to the recording can attest to, grooves leave the potential for dust and other contaminants to cause a popping sound in the recording. If you'd like to read this article or articles like this, you can do so at CosmicNova.com or simply click on the description box, link in the description box below. Good, good, good day.